Hey, hey, Food Review Friday, and we're trying something a little different at night. This is a place in Westminster that's pretty well known. It's been here for a while, and you'll see why in a moment, okay? This place is called Nahang 199 Restaurant. A little Vietnamese rice place. And it, the reason it was called 199 is because everything used to be 199, but obviously with inflation, that's not really possible anymore. But it's been around, it's still in business, so let's see how it goes, okay? Cheers, let's find out. So we're inside and everything's pretty well lit. This is a nice, you know, bright, cheery, clean. And here's the menu. Obviously things aren't $1.99 anymore, but the two big things here are the Cornish game hen and the steak. And then a couple other things and a few other noodle dishes. But today we're gonna be sticking to the rice dishes and we'll give that a try. Specifically, I'm gonna go for the uh, the, the Cornish game hen with fried rice and egg. So let's try that. One thing with this place is that water by itself, they don't serve tap water. It You know, that bottled water is a dollar. So if that's going to be the case, I may as well get something that something else for just a little more. And today, that is this coconut milk jelly and custard and ice. It's two seventy-five. A little dessert. So mix that up. Let's give it a go. Down the hatch. A little bit of the jelly there. It's grass jelly. And it's not bad. Um, it's not exceptional. It's not too sweet. But what it is, is something out of a can, and that's not bad. For $2.75, that's a pretty good price. Good size. And a lot, a lot of stuff, not just ice in there. So, pretty good. Okay, so my order just came, the Cornish game hen. Here it is, All right? Cornish game hen, chicken sauce, fried egg, fried rice, pickled vegetables. Now here's a fork to scale. So this isn't quite a true Cornish game hen, but it is a small one, right? It's kind of like, in still, it barely came out of the egg there. So, you know, this is it a few hours ago. It's like a before and after thing. So here's the thing I like, okay? The egg, super, super runny yolk. I'm just gonna pop that, thank you. And just, well not super runny, but it's still runny and that's, I love that. Okay, so we're gonna dig right into the chicken. I'm gonna put the phone down while I tear off a piece. Now, the smell is incredible, guys. It's, the skin is super crispy. And here we see the white meat. We're gonna try that because that's gonna be kind of like, if this, the white meat isn't good, then the dark meat's not gonna be much better. So, we're gonna hear that. Give it a little dip in the special sauce. Yeah. Down the hatch. Mm. So it's pretty flavorful. It's a little dry without the sauce, but the salt level's just right. It's super crispy. Really good. Fried rice. Pretty standard fare. Soy sauce, a little bit of food coloring, fish sauce maybe. It's fried rice. And the pickled vegetable. I made a weird face, not because it's bad, but it hits you. It's pickled, it's nice, it's not too tart. It's got a little bit of fish to it, which makes sense, probably some fish sauce involved, but great it's crisp it's a nice compliment to the saltiness of the, of the chicken so i'm gonna keep eating and we'll be back once this is all done to give you the final review cheers all right so i finished my meal and it's not bad it joins you know what binging with babish calls the clean plate club but really what you want to do with this place is make sure that you have enough of that chicken sauce the chicken sauce lifts the chicken from mediocre to something pretty good but the rest of it really it's good enough. You know, the fried rice, if you've ever had Aristocrat, it's a Filipino barbecue place. It's an inferior version of the Java rice. It's not bad on its own. <clears throat> the fried egg was pretty good. The yolk was a little hard, but still soft, and that's good. Overall, the flavors aren't bad, and there's nothing explicitly wrong with the place. You're still getting a pretty good value. Half of a chicken, a big scoop of fried rice, pickled vegetables, and some really good chicken sauce. I have no idea what's in there. Um, 
and of course the dessert, which I'm still kind of working on right here. It's a fair value, you know? It's certainly not the $1.99 that it used to be, but that's a long time ago, and that's being unrealistic. What you do get here is a pretty good meal in a nice, well-lit place. Service is good enough, but I can't get over that they don't serve you any tap water. It's, it's one of those weird things that's really hampering my enjoyment. But still, you're getting a good meal at a good price. It's got some flaws. It's not perfect. Um, selection's limited, which is fine. They have a few menu items that they do well. But for the price and the cost, you can really just kind of wander into Little Saigon a little more and get something that's just as good. So this place has a history. Nahang 199. It's overall a pretty good meal, and I've got no complaints about it. I would come back, but I would definitely explore options first, okay? So, not, not terrible. It's pretty good. The verdict, that's got food. It's good. Cheers.